Hey guys, today we're going to do a quick run through of the differences between Alien Vault OS Sim and USM Anywhere. This is their, their cloud hosted product. The USM Anywhere product is cloud hosted. It's uh, got an annual subscription. Basically is uh, <clears throat> it's SaaS, but uh, Alien Vault OS Sim, that's the one that I'm going to talk a little bit more on. Number one, it's open source. That means it's free to get. Uh, it definitely is typically de deployed on-prem, physical, and virtual environments. To, uh, you normally see a single server-only deployment. You've got asset discovery and inventory, vulnerability assessments, intrusion detection, behavioral monitoring, seam event correlation. Uh, you got no log management, uh, no AWS and Azure cloud monitoring, no cloud apps security monitoring, no security orchestration and automation, no integration with third-party ticketing software such as Jira and ServiceNow. You do have community support via product forums. You do have powered uh, by the Open Threat Exchange, so you, you can register an account and connect in with the Open Threat Exchange. That's going to give you some more intel, basically threat feed type stuff. Uh, continuous threat intelligence, you do not have. Uh, you do not have dedicated phone and email support. Do not have online product documentation and knowledge base. You do not have rich analytics dashboard and data visualization. Uh, with all that said, whatever you do not have, you obviously have that over in the Alien Vault USM Anywhere environment. So if you'd like, you can go check that out and learn more. If you think Alien Vault OSM is going to be a really basic, simple seam for your environment, it very well may be. This is what the dashboard looks like. I'm just going to throw this over by you. Check that out. You got top 10 hosts with multiple events. You can uh, drop your mouse over each of them. And if you want, you can even click on one. It'll pull up that uh, that IP address. You can take a, a deeper dive into that and figure out what's going on with that IP address, right? Just as simply, you can click the X and look around that time frame. And, uh, and so, yeah, there's that. Um, another cool thing is that when we're looking in here, we can see the, the top 10 event categories. Authentication is obviously the biggest one going on here. Um, we also notice too, that there's times of the day, it appears when attacks are, are most commonly happening and then things kind of die off, right? Kind of neat, interesting stats. This is just a, an internet facing server. Um, we've got, uh, it's uh, looking pretty typical for SSH service authentication attacks, uh, more auth SSH authentication attack. So brute force attack, brute force attack, um, brute force attack. It, it's looking like primarily just mostly brute force attacks. We can go under our seam and see what's going on, see the, the latest attacks going. So clearly we've got this, right? Okay, so for a brief moment in time, if we look down here, we can see um, if you just click anywhere, it's going to pop up more info on it. And we can see that this, uh, this attempt to log in using non-existent user, user none, source IP. So there you go. This is what this looks like. You can click view more if you want, but essentially... You're looking at the source on this side and the destination over on this side. So I like how simple they've laid that out. They make it real easy to, to do a quick glance. Uh, in this case, don't know what it is. Click here. We get the source over on the left. We've got our destination over on the right. Again, all zeros. That's our own. That's basically like local host, our own machine. Um, so... Yeah, that's that's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Can't can't get too much easier. You'd see Victor is what they were trying to lock in with, um, and and so let's uh, let's go ahead and whoops, let's pop. Oh man, let me click back and see what we got here. Oh, okay, so it's already going down. Apparently, so let's go ahead and clear the filters out, and let's scroll down a bit more. Uh, go next. Oh man, go next again. Here we are. So what I was wanting to show 
Okay, so your username was sales. So yeah, anyway, when I was looking in here and I saw a user none, I was wrong. Um, so it's pulling the, the info out of var log auth dot log. And then the username is sales. This is the IP address. Uh, attempt to log in using a non-existent user. User data for syslog sshd invalid login authentication failed. So it's parsing out, um, you know, it's parsing out some info from the syslog, right? Or, um, or in some way, it, it's parsing out the data so that way <clears throat> we've got auth logs, right? Click view more. This is what that looks like. Um, you can go under raw logs as well, and you'll notice something. It's gonna, it's basically just a full page of advertising. It's gonna tell you forensic lifecycle management. Uh, it's only available in Alien Vault USM server. Check it out. Give it a try. Um, I, I typically kind of steer clear of this raw logs thing because it, it's literally just like a teaser. In, in my opinion, it's kind of like, it, it's a little ad shout. Right, the the seam works just fine. Um, here you see it's three twenty nine. It's three twenty nine at the bottom right of my screen. Right, so all this stuff is uh, is the same you're gonna find down there. In fact, if we refresh it, I'm willing to bet that we're gonna have another attack. Nope, not yet. So, you know, is it possible that there's been another attack on Sun? Maybe, but um. I'm sure that, hey, look at that. We already see, we already see an update, I think, right? Because it, it was just showing, you showing a different number. All right, so, yeah, so we've got 329.55. Uh, let's go ahead and click clear filter again. 330.14, right? So, I mean, it's, for the most part, it's quite real time. You don't need your raw logs, the, the seam... Uh, events are quite good. You can click on one of these. You can click actions, delete selected, uh, delete all on screen, delete entire query. Um, so let's go ahead and change our, our view to risk analysis and see what this looks like. All right. So here's this, all right? We can change the view to detailed view. There's a, uh, is that reputation? Uh, so yeah, there's there's basically quite a different views, right? You can create your own view. You can edit the view. Um, I, I typically I'll, I'll typically leave it in this mode. I, I kind of like this mode a bit. Um, what you'll notice too is that. If you get the open threat exchange tied in, you'll start to see a, a bit more uh, information and that, that helps you quite a bit. But essentially what what the purpose of this Alien Vault OSM is, is you'd put this inside of your network, you'd wrap things around, um, you know, have, have everything wrapped up good with a firewall. You might have like some sort of a router type OS, a router type system. And so that, that could look like maybe running router OS. You could have PFSense on your network or, uh, or even another uh, router firewall type operating system. But essentially what you want is you want one system that's able to just have traffic flowing. It's able to block stuff if you don't want that traffic and, uh, and keep, keep your stuff safe. And then in addition, you might be running an Nginx uh, reverse proxy in front of your web server and then anytime someone's launching a web attack it just blocks that web attack so uh, i'm i'm definitely playing around with a lot of different security tools and having a lot of fun it's uh it's quite a blast but anyway this is a, a cool tool and what i'm gonna be doing very shortly is blowing away this whole system and rebuilding my my virtual environment so that way i can have more more security tools to work with.